across Connecticut came together in solidarity with Israel. This afternoon in New Haven, a handful of groups gathered in support of the Palestinian people with a counter rally quickly breaking out. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland is live right now. He's outside New Haven City Hall tonight with a lot more on this for us. Matt. Well, Mark and Stephanie, both sides out here in front of New Haven City Hall for a little more than an hour and a half this afternoon. You can see the barricades that police put up to keep everybody separated. But as you said, we had two demonstrations here because as soon as members of the local Jewish community heard this was happening, they showed up to respond saying there's no justification for the attacks in Israel. With their flags waving in the air, they stood across from each other at New Haven City Hall, shouting and chanting, two sides passionately condemning or defending what's happening in the Middle East right now. This conflict did not start two days ago. It started in 1948 when Israel um, expelled 800,000 Palestinians from their homes. What started as a small rally with a handful of groups calling for solidarity for a free Palestine. They've tried every means possible to actually liberate themselves. And this, this is the last thing that they have, which is violence, which we don't, we don't want. Quickly grew as members of New Haven's Jewish community arrived to voice their displeasure at a rally taking place just days after Hamas, a Palestinian militant group that's been labeled a foreign terrorist organization, attacked Israel, killing hundreds and wounding thousands of others. For the actions that we have seen for the cold-blooded, cruel murder. Anyone who says that this is justified is just covering for evil. Gail Slasberg, who heads up the Jewish Federation of Greater New Haven, says while their community and the world is reeling from seeing the images of these attacks, she says now is the time to stand shoulder to shoulder with Israel. This is terrorism, and I would hope that just like the world came together with us here in the United States when we were hit at 9-11 with a terrorist attack, the world stood with us. This is the time for us to stand with Israel. And tonight, the Jewish Federation of Greater New Haven, they will hold their own community gathering. They're expecting a large crowd. In addition to that, they've also set up a fund. They say 100% of the money raised will go towards humanitarian efforts in Israel. We've got a link on the Channel 3 app. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Matt, thank